Hello Quinn. How are you? Hi Heidi. I am okay thank you. Where did you get those four new certificates on the wall? I got them from eBay. I think they are really nice. I think I was almost outbid by that damned Jan Marks. Is this campaign strategy meeting really necessary Quinn? After all I'm mighty Heidi. Yes it is. You're clearly struggling these days and we need to talk. Hey, what's that on your head? It's a hat. I passed out after that wine tasting fundraiser yesterday. One of my red ribbons got permanently stuck to my hair. I'm going to have it cut out later by my beautician. Well whatever. Just get rid of the hat. Getting rid of those damned red ribbons might be a good idea too. I can't get rid of my red ribbons. Without my ribbons I'm not mighty, I'm just Heidi. Do you remember that comment you made, saying that San Luis Obispo should not have any statues of old white men? That's now being viewed as ageist, racist and sexist by respected members of the local community. I don't care. Look, I can make any damned remark I want. I am Heidi and I'm mighty. Actually you're getting killed politically right now. Getting into bed with the BLM and supporting their illegal behavior here locally was a stupid move, even for you. You also left us out on the highway after you promised to come along. Remember, you and Tiana and me planned it. I was lucky I was not arrested. What happened to you that night? The radical left expects me to pander to the BLM. I can't start doing the right thing by calling their thuggish behavior here into question. I'm also not going to comment about not going out on the highway after I promised I would, even to you. After all it was your crew that stopped the pregnant woman on the way to the hospital. You had better not talk about it either. Ever since Tiana and Elias Bautista got arrested that night, you've been living in the basement, Joe Biden style. The town is hurting right now. It needs leadership. You are the mayor. It expects you to step up and lead right now. Instead you are silent. I'm not going to lead anything. Heidi did not become mighty by actually working. I'm going to cruise through this election without a problem. Two more years of focusing on my next political office. Be careful. Remember when you got spanked back in 2014 by Cacho in the state assembly race? I should have demanded a recount. You got slaughtered, Heidi. Don't forget you won your mayoral race in 2016 by only 43 votes. Against a disgraced candidate who should have been indicted. We need to focus. There are barbarians at the gates. Strong new candidates, and angry voters who are less and less likely to vote for you this time around. Maybe our illustrious Governor Gavin Newsom will appoint me to fill the vacant San Luis Obispo County Supervisor's seat, you know, after Adam Hill ate his gun? Do you really think Newsom would appoint you, given your record, particularly your current association with the BLM? Even if he did, Arnold and Compton would take political axe handles to you, just as soon as you opened your mouth. We need to refocus. Voters are becoming upset. What are they upset about? I haven't done much at all since being in office. We intercepted one text which said Harmon and her cohorts have raped the downtown, creating ugly fucking sprawl. It's disgusting, and it's only going to get worse. Another claims you want to block off Iguera and Monterey streets permanently in the downtown without seeking voter approval. Many others, including me, are wondering about the fucking bike lanes and the huge parklets. Why didn't you set their seating capacity to match the restaurant's actual seating capacity? What's up with all of this? I don't care about the downtown. I live in a damned trailer on the outskirts of town. All I care about is Heidi. There is some good money to be made by supporting these developments. The bike lanes are going to help Andy and me get re-elected. I don't want to talk about the giant parklets. Damn. You really are tone deaf. Voters are also upset about the all-electric new home construction ordinance. They point out the affordability of natural gas. The fact that it's not a great source of pollution. That the US has a huge abundance of it. 
that gas-fired and nuclear power plants generate almost all of the power for your all-electric dream homes. Are you aware that PG&E pushed all-electric, gold medallion homes in the 1960s and 1970s? They were a huge failure. Very expensive to operate. People are beginning to wonder if you and members of the city council accepted bribes to vote as you did. I don't care if the all-electric homes are costly to operate. I don't care if there is value in having more than one energy source in a house. That's not my problem. I live in a trailer on Los Osos Valley Road. Crimea River. No one can prove I took any bribes. Just listen to yourself. Voters are also wondering why the city council has a goal of carbon neutrality by 2035, 10 years before the state mandate. That's very costly for taxpayers. We do as we please. There is no one to oppose our actions, no matter how inappropriate they might be. Pushing this is a source of votes for me from the far left. What's with you? Are you all there? Have you been secretly patronizing the new pot store on Lower Higuera? Yes I have. Heidi has her breakfast huffs there every morning just before they open to the public. They have a nice selection and a great takeout menu. I made that store happen you know. Good payer. This is just what I'm talking about. Well, never mind. The SLOPD chief just announced she's leaving. Many think Cantrell is leaving because you and the other members of the council don't support law enforcement. Voters are afraid of who you might choose as the next chief, if you remain in office. If I remain in office, I might just leave the position open as I plan to defund the SLOPD. You must be kidding. In the world we live in today? My constituents on the far left demand it. Defund, 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 you know, fuck the police. Fuck the taxpayers' comfort. Oh my are you serious? There is also the growing matter of the extortion of downtown merchants by members of the BLM. Do you know anything about this? Did you take an active part in it? It sounds like Tiana's mother, Michelle Irata, was directly involved in the shakedowns. This could lead to big trouble. There might be an investigation if Cal Coast News continues to dig. I'm not going to say if I was involved, without my lawyer present. Michelle is an idiot. She'll make a great scapegoat. She can go down with the ship if things get too hot. No one reads Cal Coast News anyway. Also, Joe at the Tribune promised he would cover our asses, no matter what. They're simply going to ignore the story, just as they have many others. Once again Heidi, we really need to focus for a few minutes. You and NDPs are facing some very strong competition during this election. The city is in trouble and the voters are getting anxious and upset. Listen Quinn. I didn't expect to do any real work as mayor of SLO. I don't have the background or the intelligence to be an effective mayor. I originally ran because the old mayor was a disgrace who should have been in prison and I figured it would be an easy campaign. It was. I ran again because I liked all the attention and the perks. Especially the perks. Being the mayor of SLO became nothing more than a stage for me to show off. For me to tell anyone that would listen, how I'm a progressive. Just like Teddy Roosevelt except completely different, both politically and because I'm not an old white man. Now all I have to do is survive this election so I can run for a higher office next time. I want to run for something easy but prestigious. I want to be Lieutenant Governor of California and then Vice President of the United States of America. Remember, Heidi is mighty. I'm not sure how to respond to that, Heidi. I'll need some time to think it over. I need to end this meeting, it's almost one o'clock. Tom, Jim and me are getting together for lunch. We're going to talk about exactly how the grease is going to be spread for allowing them to build their grotesque and greedy, seven-story building, on the corner of Choro and Marsh. With any luck, downtown San Luis Obispo will look like the fake window behind me, by the time I finish my next term. Okay. In that case, your trailer at ten tonight? Great. Bring another box of wine.